Hello, my name's Kevin. This is Leatherneck Prepper. So, you guys know I'm a big fan of the Mission Darkness Faraday bags. They have a wide variety of different sizes, all the way up to fit full-size generators. And I've got quite a few of them. I've used them for years, and I've recommended them, and I'm going to continue to recommend them. Their bigger bags are quite spendy. So just keep that in mind. You're going to pay for the bigger bag because it takes so much more to make that one. <clears throat> now they have the smaller bags, the key fob bags that last, depending on how you use them, anywhere from six months to one year. The reason they go bad is because you're constantly flipping the top up and down. So uh, my friend JJ over at Reality Survival and American Prepping Academy, he recently signed up for Go Dark Bags. Now the Go Dark Bags are uh, <clears throat> the Go Dark Bags are. They look like they're made a little bit better. They're a little bit more stiff. Actually, they're a lot more stiff. Um, they don't just fold down and then fold inside or have velcro they have a little elastic lock here now this one's already been tested with my wife's phone and I know it works I'm quite content with it I actually got the three bag bundle which came with the one Faraday bag which will hold key fobs uh, small tablet if you got a small and I mean small tablet or your iPhone iPhone uh, or what do you call the, the Samsung's I can't think what they're called because I don't use them anyways this will hold pretty much every cell phone out there even in the big cases so I like this and I probably am going to take this with me regularly and test it over the next year and see how long it takes this lining here to break because the lining is pretty much the same thing that's in the Mission Darkness and I, I still love the Mission Darkness. Uh, you're not going to hear me badmouth them. The key fob bags that they have are very inexpensive. I think they're like seven dollars uh, for a set of two, or it's seven dollars each. I can't remember. I paid sixty-seven dollars plus shipping and tax for the three bag bundle. I got the Faraday bag, <clears throat> and when I got these, I was kind of a little bit upset because I thought I was getting three Faraday bags, but I wasn't. And I didn't quite read everything the way I should, and that's my fault. That's why I'm glad I hadn't made a video on it. These here are not Faraday bags, but they are RF reader blockers. So what this does is, let's say you're out shopping at whatever store, Walmart, and it's Christmas time. Yeah, I know I said Christmas. You're going to have bad actors out there trying to scan the chips and get the information off of your credit card these block that so I got two of these $67 this one here is like a small purse which I wouldn't wear but if you carry a backpack with you it wouldn't be a bad idea to put these in it and you can put your passport and any other documents that have a chip reader in it, a chip in it that can be read now my wallet is an RF blocker I picked it up several years ago I know it works because every time I go to a gun show I have them retested and it works just fine so I'm very happy with it but that wallet was like a hundred bucks so but then again considering what it is I'm very happy that I mean I carry that everywhere every day so these are pretty cool <clears throat> velcro you can put a name tag in it you can put credit cards here um, it's got a drawstring which kind of neat and they say they're dry bags so I don't know how wet you can get them, but I will say that they, I like them. They're, they are really neat. They're really the first time I've looked at them. So you can store your money, credit cards, anything like that. Something small. I mean, I don't have a cell phone to put here with it. But these are about 6 inches, 7 inches, something like that. This one is. So it's got it on both sides. Yeah. So yeah. Yeah, quite a bit of storage here for different items if you're out and about and you wanted to 
protect this from would-be prying eyes. These guys are real good at stealing information without being caught. And then this here is a fanny pack. You can see it says here RFID. Now, to uh, kind of defend myself, when I got this, I got through the middle of the week, I worked nights, it came in the mail, I just opened the pack and looked at it. I didn't really go in depth, so uh, it's through the week I get tired quick because I work a lot of hours. This one has a pretty deep pack or a pouch, it has two pouches on it. It's separated by, I forget what you call that, fish netting. It's got two separate sets of fish netting in it. So, it's pretty neat. Unless you guys are really needing something like this, there's no sense in spending the money on it. This here looks like it's about 10 to 12 inches by about 4 inches. It's just a regular fanny pack and you've got a spot on the back actually. So, <clears throat> unless you're really needing something like this, don't spend the money. And if you're not ready for other things like food, shelter, power generation, any medical supplies you might need, don't waste money on stuff like this. Get the basics and the, the necessities down before you start buying the gadgets and things. That's just how it goes. Um, it doesn't do you any good to have 14 ways to keep your stuff safe like this and then not have any food. But if you've got something like an EMP shield, which I do have on my <clears throat> my BOV, that's bug out vehicle, my pickup truck. If you have something like that, and like I argued with JJ many times, and I actually won an argument with him. I can't tell you how many arguments he and I have had over the years, and I've lost every one of them except that one. I bet you we've had 40 or 50 arguments. So, yeah, JJ 50, Kevin won. Hot damn. Anyhow, just had to toot my own horn. Um, it doesn't do you any good to spend that 300 bucks for the EMP shield if you can't start your vehicle because of these stupid key chip key fobs. And keeping an extra key fob stored somewhere in your vehicle, or like I do, <laughs> sorry, I'm allergies and crap. <clears throat> I carry my key fob with me and my uh, Mission Darkness bag and keep it in my pocket. So I do that every day, everywhere I go. As soon as I get out of the vehicle, it goes in there. And actually with my, my Chevy and any of my General Motors products, the second you put that key fob in the bag, the vehicle tells you, hey, the key fob's disappeared. If I get out of my pickup truck, it tells you the key fob has left the vehicle. But if I put it, if I unlock the doors and then put the key fob in the bag, it still starts. That's very interesting. However, if I just go up to it with the, in the key fob, the key fob in the bag, it won't open and it won't start. So I think what happens is it reads the key fob and it holds it in its memory for X number of seconds. Maybe a couple of minutes, I don't know. So that was something really interesting with my Dodge. Uh, that's Dodge, Ram, whatever you want to call it. So that was really interesting. Um, I know that if I have it unlocked and it's been a while, I go out and try to start it, it says no key fob found. So I know the bags are still working. It's just a matter of the, uh, it's gotta be holding that memory, which is really cool actually. Uh, I kinda like that. So if you're interested, you can get a deal using the code Reality Survival, all one word, and it gets you 10% off, I think. Um, I got these and I was very impressed with it. And since the key fob bags that I have through Mission Darkness are soft side. They have what look to be all metal uh, constructed key fobs, key fob holders, excuse me. And I ordered one of those this morning. So I'm going to get that here in a few days. It'll be probably Wednesday, Thursday of next week. And I'll start testing that out and see how well it works. Um, 
because of its construction being all metal, no seams like this to uh, go bad. It may be uh, something that lasts a lot longer. Now, it was $52 tax and shipping and everything. So it's a lot more expensive than that $7. However, if it's going to last indefinitely, I think that's a better deal. Anyhow, I know this video is going on a little bit long, so hope you guys got something out of this. Have a good one.